Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at Integra Coach's version of the Class B Plus slash Class C on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. This is the 2021 Integra Quest Model 24L. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited that we're taking a look at this Integra Quest 24L. Finally, one came to us and I didn't have to travel all the way up to Indiana to find one. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Jacksonville. Yep. And you know what? This is the first time I've actually gotten to see a quest, so I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Well, not me too, but again, you guys saw with me and Will, we went up to Indiana to see one, and it wasn't even 100% finished. This one's built, ready, and actually, I think a customer bought it earlier today. But still, we're gonna review it. Let's begin. Model is 24L, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this is 25 feet, two inches. This is on the new Mercedes chassis with the adaptive cruise control. It's a 3.6 liter V6, 188 horsepower, and 264 foot-pounds of torque. Really awesome and nice, really great to drive. And if you look up front, Andre, if you notice, it is that iconic Integra seamless fiberglass front cap. I absolutely love what they did there, and you can see that nice, beautiful windshield. Coming down the side, you can see the full body paint is standard on the Quest and Andrea. Look at that uh, detail, it's just beautiful, it's nice. All right, here we do got these tires. These are the, um, what are they? Continentals. LT215-85 R16. And look, it's the high spec rims. Those are shiny. You do have your mirrors right here. And then look, yeah, that's a one piece molded fiberglass front cap. Really nice. And I even like how they kind of gave this the radius there. It looks good. Looks good. Coming down the side here, because it is Integra, you do have the two year, three year warranty, frameless windows, and an armless awning, Gerard awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Wind sensors, right? Nice power awning with LED lights. Um, that's the thing, Andre. I don't know if it has wind sensors. We will check it in a second. Actually, let's go like this. Maybe not. Maybe we call Cody. No, I don't think it has wind sensors. Yeah, because it would have already went in. No wind sensors. Where, where? Womp womp. We do have speakers on the outside right here. And then look at these beautiful oh, slam latch doors. Oh, I like how those open. Oh, wow. Look at that. Propane quick connect right there. Nice. Okay. And then these, they go down, they close just like that. I like that. Right here's your propane tanks. And Andrea. We will have all the tank sizes, length, widths, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Wow. Look at the beautiful paint job over this in the water heater. Truma, Truma Aqua Hot Tankless Water Heater. I love that. Speaker on the outside as well. This is not storage, okay. Coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass cap in the rear. Look at the tail light design, I love that. Backup camera right there, 5,000 pound hitch. Mercedes uh, says you can only tow 4,300 pounds. Okay. Uh, so that's all I would tow. Looks really nice, it look does. at this. Just the attention to details and everything. Finishing up with the driver's side. Okay. Look at that, a little bit of storage right there. There's a 30 amp power cable. Right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. Look how high these doors I flip off. I know. I I really like the doors. Oh, there's your wet bay. Yep, wet bay, outdoor shower, and everything. Very nice. That's very, very cool. Right here is where you plug in your 30 amp power cord. Okay. Storage. Okay. Yep, more storage 
bolts there. And then right here is going to be your generator. Your Cummins Onan 3600 LP generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. And I got the AC on Yay. for you. All right. Oh, wow. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,021 pounds, which is actually pretty good for um, a uh, class B with the Mercedes. Yes. yes. B plus. Wow. I do like the cabinetry in here. Very pretty. It's got that Euro look. Yes. Oh, I forgot to look at the bathroom. Gosh, I'm so taken by the different look in here. So there's the bathroom, everybody. And I had no problem getting to it with the slide in. Yep. Now, Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, we do have a favor to ask everyone. It's hot, it's hot, and we're, we're sweating. So if you could, please, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, y'all, the more it motivates me, but more importantly, Andrea, yes. <laughs> to come out here in the 100 degree heat to record videos for y'all. And we thank you guys. We thank each and every one of you. We thank you each and every one of us. Man, look how spacious this gets wow. when it's all the way open. Very nice, look at big, this. spacious. It's the float up bed. And it's in plastic, so we'll leave it. Let's start up here. Oh my gosh, look at the floor. Yeah. I'm not a fan of floor. That's strange. It's not hardwood. It's like uh, outside carpet or something. Yeah, it's kind of like a patio thing. Oh, and the seats swivel, Matt. That's exciting. Yes. They have seats. a pedestal table there. Seats wow. Seats come part of the area. This is a new Mercedes-Benz chassis, okay? How you can tell us with the tenant screen, has the adaptive cruise control, everything. Look at that backup camera right there i love that placement there um because it just makes it easier look you have navigation right there it tells you where we are look it tells you where diesel fuel is that's awesome adaptive cruise control look at this i mean this is just easy let me tell you this is a pleasure to drive andre why don't you sit in my co-captain seat sure tell me how it feels this gets great miles per gallon and everything oh yay <laughs> This is really comfortable, everybody. I like this. Yep. I have a lot of room. And if you look right there, it is fully powered seats right yes, there. with the memory. We have one, two, and three. Here's the thing. When I'm driving, we put memory for one. When Andre is driving, we put memory for two. And when we're ready to turn the seats around, you push memory three, and then it puts it in the positions where all you gotta do is pull the lever and turn wow. the seat around. That is amazing. Very nice. I like this. Yep. Oh, and I like here. Uh, let me point out this right here with the floor. Uh -huh. Normally, I'm very clumsy and I usually will trip, but I like that they have like a, what do you call that? Thingamadoo? The, yeah, the mat here that you can step on and you just go up like this. That was nice. Yes. And so, you could swivel those chairs, which is great. They do swivel. And then up here, we do have the bunk over the cab. Andrea. 750 pounds is what it holds awesome i love that and then check this out you push the button and the windshield will raise up and then look at that isn't that beautiful i love that it is so awesome and nice and everything and then also if you notice that other cushion right there this that, goes to the dinette this goes to the dinette which is right here if, that, that if you guys need to drop that down into a bed Nice U-shaped dinette, exactly. It does drop down and make a bed. And there's the cushion and then Andrea. Look, look at, at these. The beautiful, beautiful Euro oh look. Oh my God. Very nice. I like nice. that. Very, very nice cabinetry. I like yes. the colors in here. Even the valances are cute, everybody. Yep, and I love how it clips in like that. And look at this. Wow. Daytime and privacy shades. Yes. And then look at, look, look at this. You do have cup holders right there and there. Oh, and guess what, Andrea? Yes. Hang on. No, no, no. Get, get, guess what I heard? What? Uh, on RV News. Actually, I saw it when I did a tour of the Integra factory, but I was told not to say anything. Coming in a few weeks, bing, the new Integra Ethos 
Integra is now making a Class B motorhome on the Ram Pro Master chassis. Woohoo! Super excited, and guess what? Uh, I have been notified that we will be getting one of the first ones, so you'll be able to see it here first on Matt's RV review. That's awesome. And then right over there, I did forget to mention, we do have the Bigfoot auto leveling. Oh, great. So they do give you auto leveling with this. That's fantastic, you guys. Also, look at the TV placement. Yep, TV right there. And I believe, Matt, does that swivel? Yeah. It's, oh. on, it's on a thing right okay, here. Okay, it is. Yep. Okay, that's great. Let's take it out and swivel. That is awesome. And I noticed that they do have a window in the door with yep. the shade. Yep, exactly. That's a great feature. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this Integra Quest here is $164,214 MSRP. Sale price, show price, we have it down to $114,995. That is a phenomenal price, especially if you're looking for a Class C Mercedes with the new adaptive Absolutely. cruise control and everything. Absolutely phenomenal price, but we can always get you a tiny bit better price than that. Not much better because it's the show price, but always a little bit more, Andrea. Here's what you do. You go down to generalrv.com or click the description below. We have a link to the Integra Quest. Click that, click get lowest price or the RV show price. One of my team members will reach out to you. The only thing you have to tell them is... You saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And they will give you an even better price than that. Andrea, let's continue the video. Tell them to give you the Matt price, everybody. That's right. Matt, did we check to make sure there was storage under here, or do you know? Uh, I don't think there is. And nope. Nope. No wires. Storage. Okay. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, everybody, let's check out the kitchen. Oh, look at this. Nice. Where's the? There it is. All right. So I want to open these blinds because I love the light. Look how. Oh gosh. Um, Mal yeah. Malfunction, you guys. Okay. So. Wow. I know, <laughs> but it's so Very time. nice. I love this countertop. It's very pretty. I like the round sink. Uh-huh. It looks great in here, perfect for crock pots. Look at the lights. Beautiful. And then, how do these open? There's I a little thingy right here. Oh, it's not like the Winnebago. Look! Very nice. Very nice. That's to make sure stuff doesn't go flying out I when like you turn. That. Okay, it's right here. Yes. Wow. Very nice. And guys. Got a nice round nice. sink. That's great mm -hmm. for a trash can. All right, over here we have the two burner cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And very cute with the side splash and the lights right here, the LED lights. We got a convection microwave. Uh-huh. And a drawer down here. Very nice. And we got a, okay, this is an interesting refrigerator. Is this the compressor? Uh, yes. Are you sure? No. It, it looks like it's a two-way fridge, propane yeah. and electric. Very nice. I'm very little, they, very little. Very little, but you know what? It's the fact that they, it could have been smaller. You know what I mean? I don't know. And they did a good job. Yeah. And you got some storage up here as well, along with your panel. Yes, ma'am. Wow. All right, so in the bedroom, this bed does pull out. So we got, oh, oh wow. there's the pantry. There is the pantry. I like that. Very nice. Right here, you got some good storage. Wardrobe, your table. Tabletop, mm-hmm. Got some drawers there. Okay, I, I like the cabinetry in here. Yes. Very nice. The cabinetry is beautiful, Andrea. And then you do have the bed. It does have to fold up to come in uh, for the slide out. And then you got storage above. Oh, Matt, there's a cabinet back there. Is Open there? Oh, up. man. What is that? Oh, cool. Is that a little cubby with shelves? Yeah. Oh, very cute. Yeah. Very, very cute. You guys. I have to say, you know I'm normally picky about balances, but these balances don't bother me in here. Right. And the slide is nice. Uh-huh. Looks and, very nice. And there's a TV right here. Well, it's, you can mount a TV there. Yes, yes, You absolutely. got a privacy curtain for in the bedroom area. Yep. And then now, let's see this bathroom. Wait, I want to show the door. How has that Euro look? Very nice. Okay. Radiant. It's radiant and elegant. 
Notice the heat duct not the floor. And there is a light above that light up yep. there too. And the heat duct's not on the floor right yes. there. Okay, okay. Looks like we might have something here. Very small bathroom, okay. It is what it is, small class B plus motorhome. Small right here, good size shower. Not like the door. door. Pass. Let's check that out. I like that window right there. Uh-huh. And I like that they gave you a fan. Fantastic. Okay, so we have a medicine cabinet here, everybody. Uh-huh, very nice. And look at this. Good job with the sink. Yep. I like the modern look. I like that they have this counter down here, or the cabinetry. They sure do. They did a great job. All right, Andrea. It's that time. It's that time, everybody. Andrea, it's about 5 o'clock here at General RV in Jacksonville. <laughs> We've been uh, sitting on toilets all day. Yeah. It's now time for the final toilet <laughs> test of the day. Let's see. We want to give it a pass. Andrea, it is porcelain. Woohoo! They listen. They listen. Okay. Here's what I will say. Do you see how it's on the angle? Yes. If it is straight, it fails. Right. On the angle, it passes. Thank you for putting it on the angle. And thank you. And Andrea. Yes. We wrapped up today with the final prime open position. Bing! Awesome, Very Matt. Nice. Great spot for the toilet paper holder. Yep, yep. Good job, Integra. Great. And I love how it's porcelain. Love the look, the Euro look. But as much as we love it, and as great as it is, Andrea, you know the rules. It's now time we give you three things we love about the Integra Quest and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? We're going to have to do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm going first. You ready? Yes. First thing I dislike, how do you have an armless awning that does not have a wind sensor? I agree. Do I need to say anything else? Nope. That's just number one. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can I go one. number two? I said it. And that's final. All number right. two. Number two, guys. Um, I really don't know about the flooring. Yep. Uh, I guess it's like you, a wicker material thingy. Yeah, I get what you guys are trying to do, and you're trying to give it that more modern kind of Euro look. Uh huh. But I don't know. I'll let RV review crew let me know what they think about it. Well, I think last time they said they liked it, um, because I, because when me and Will went up to Indiana, I didn't like this flooring either. Okay. Just kind of right. is what it is. That's so that's my dislike. Too. And then number three for me is this. You ready? Turn it the other way. Yeah, but this U-shaped dinette can really only seat two people. Because when I turn it this way, I have space, but this person does not have space. And then if I go this way, you know what I'm saying? Or you're sitting over here in the middle more, Matt. Oh, hang on a second. I like that table. Oh, so the fat man sits in the middle. Yes. <laughs> okay. So if you're a family of three and you got two skinnies and a fatty, then you can sit here. But, um, okay, well, still, I know you corrected it, but still, I don't like the two end seats right there. Okay. It does make it very tough. Actually, you know what? You sit there, Andrea. Where do you want me to sit? On the end and turn the table sideways. Oh, Still, that's my dislike, there's no take backs. Okay, and it is what backs. it is. Great. I think it's beautiful. So that's three things we don't like. Now, it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You want me to go first? Yeah. Always. Seamless fiberglass front cap. Love the windshield. And even though this is their Mercedes line, still, 750 pounds on that bunk over the cab. I love Absolutely that. Absolutely awesome. amazing. Awesome. That's one. Okay. I love, love the Euro look in here. Yes. This is my first quest, so I'm really excited. And I love that they did the Euro look in here. It looks great. It looks luxurious. It looks modern. Yes. All, all in one. All in one. They, so, they did. Super happy about it. I love the lights here. Yep. Even the counter at the top is pretty. Yes. Great job, Integra. Very nice. So that's two. And then number three. Hmm. Hmm. What's going to be number three? Do you have a third off the top of your head? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to say for the outside. Number three. I love how Integra made this motorhome and accomplished it at a great price point. With the full body paint, aluminum slam latch doors, frameless windows, 
fiberglass front cap and the auto leveling all for 114.9 and i can get you a tiny bit better price than that that's freaking phenomenal i it freaking is. love that and what they done here to disrupt the market from your competition on the mercedes is huge and i love it me too well andrea that's it give me five oh. we did it we did it for the day in jacksonville thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about the star v please call me text me send me an email it is max or v reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my cell or you can check us out online at matt's rv reviews.com where you can get your official matt's rv review sticker Bing. also there is a contact me page down below andrea do you have anything you want to say yes hey everybody thanks so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this rv and the three things you dislike integra does read the comments and they watch our videos so we're excited to see what you guys have to say about this quest also if you haven't become a member of our um Facebook Club Art Deco, Bing. Uh -huh. make sure you go ahead and join that. It's a good way to get in contact with Matt and I and also for everybody to talk to each other about RVN. Yes. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Absolutely. One last thing. Again, if you want pricing on this unit, I have links down in the description below. All you have to do is go to generalrv.com, click get lowest price, and there's only one rule. Andrea? You have to tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And then you will get the best price. And, sorry, there's two rules. And text me if you bought this unit so I can make sure that you get like a gift basket or something. Yes, we're going to be sending out goodies, guys. We'll be sending out goodies. <laughs> Thanks this unit so much. or any, any unit. If you buy an RV because of our videos from General let RV, let us know. Let me know directly. Let Andrea know directly. And that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Andrea. Well, See you.